Greetings, Cage Lanes. Cage Prime here with my live reaction of One Piece, Chapter 1002. Um, this will be one of two videos I upload today. Uh, One Piece as normal and um, Shimatsu now Valkyrie uh, 43. Um, but things after that, I don't know. Um, because we had a death in the family. And I just have like a, you know, a pocket of, uh, of time here to work with. So, uh, I'm sorry for any inconveniences and whatnot. Uh, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> but let's get into something that's on a happier note. Uh, let's see here. Emperors versus the new generation. That's very similar to what I called the last chapter. Yeah. Okay, well, I always have that mic in the wrong position, don't I? Let's see here. Oh, Lucci feeding the pigeons in his own, what was it, hattery? Is over there crying. It's what you deserve, you little evil bird. Uh, let's see here. And it, yeah, Lucci feeding pigeons in the park. To be honest, it seems like that idea should have been thought up years ago. Okay. Okay, we've got destructive wind. Oh, yeah, I forgot he can do that. He's only done it once, so. Uh, how many other elemental forces does Kaido need to be even more OP than he already was? Um, you know? There's Big Mom. So, destructive winds, and he goes, ha! Which... I don't know how you just shoot, like, wind blades out of your mouth like that, but okay. And Law is just, boop, he's out of there. Um, I don't think Kid liked it too much because, uh, he kind of got demolished. Or at least, uh, his punk rotten did. Kid! This stuff is falling everywhere. Big deal, it's made of junk anyway. I'm still questioning where did he find all of this? Did he find, like, Queen's laboratory, a storeroom, something? Because most of this stuff doesn't look like your typical, like, oh, like, swords and guns. Like, there's some more specific hardware here. So, I still question where he got all this crap. Let's see here. And Zoro is gonna, like... He deflected it, if anything. I don't think he cut it in half, but it cut that rock in half. Hmm. Huh. All right. Here comes Luffy. Gomu Gomu no. Is this going to be Kong or King Kong gun? Which I did watch Kong Skull Island the other day, and fairly enjoyable. I very much like the old fighter pilot from World War II. Favorite character. <clears throat> But, uh, yeah, he's going right up into Kaido's face, and Kong right? Wait, has he done this before? I swear, I don't... If this is new, I love it. So, he... But... Oh, you can barely tell, I think, that he's twisted his fist. Okay. Still, I love it, if it's new or old. But yeah, so that knocked Kaido back a little bit. He, I doubt he's anything. Because, unless it had real Wohaki in it. But, you know, it's hard to really know. <laughs> uh, so he looks like he's kind of knocked out in this panel. But then you can see him not so much here. But um, kids coming in, grabbing him under the chin. And he's... Oh, God, he's doing a suplex, basically, isn't he? Uh, Gibson, slam! Okay. Most of his attacks are nothing special, I hate to say it. I mean, they're still cool because it's a ro basically a giant robot made out of junk. But, what can I say? That they, when you, like... Because they're being used against Kaido, I guess they're cool, but, like, you start thinking about it, it's like, 
What what kind of damage is this even doing to him? I I, I think if it wasn't for Luffy, they probably wouldn't be doing any damage at all, would they? Unless kids learning real low hockey, which if he's doing that through punk uh, rotten like all the power to him that would be sweet but yeah so let's see here what's go oh that's Zoro and he's doing like the did you just cut off his mustache Zoro what what the lover loving fuck man you do like little somersault deals and cut off the man's mustache. I've never dissected a dragon before. Oh, here comes Law. But I reckon the heart is around here. And Gamma Knife. Now see, people have been saying that he should have been using that instead of the stupid rock crap. Because, like I said, him and Kid definitely aren't really doing anything. I mean... Killer and Zoro aren't either, but you know, Zoro's at least wielding a sword that had done damage to Kaido in the past. So, I mean, that gives him a slight edge, literally because it's a sword. But, but yeah, so Gamma Knife. Why didn't you aim for the literal scar two feet to the left? Let's see here. Damn upstart, so you can counter my durability? I guess you're not the suicidal fools I took you for. <clears throat> says says the guy who, uh, who's been trying to die. You know, I'm just kind of... I'm just kind of bleh <laughs> to this. Let's see here. I mean, the first time they fight you, that that's one thing. But they've dealt with you before. They've gotten stronger. They've learned things that actually work against you. So, yeah, what did you expect, Kaido? <clears throat> it was like, I didn't expect anything except for you to die. But you know, that, that would be a line he would say, though. Let's see here. Killer's coming in. Okay, is he even... I don't even think he's, like, piercing him. I think he's just cl he's just climbing up. I've been through hell because of this tough hide. Notice that he hasn't... I don't think he's laughed once in this chapter. And we've seen him on screen now a couple times. But looks like I can get through if I slice you up from inside. Oh... Don't you fucking tell me he's going to jump in Kaido's mouth and try to cut the the inner parts of him. I mean, that makes the most sense. Like, usually that's how, like, an epic adventure series and stuff that have, like, really big, powerful monsters. And it's like, oh, their hide is impenetrable to our attacks. Let's go inside and rip it asunder. And then that's kind of what they end up doing. So, let's see here. Sonic Scythe. What the fuck? Is he actually making, like, Sonic Blades, but it's just Oda's drawing it this way? Because it looks like his blades just extended... 30 fold and they're spinning obviously because that's how his weapon that's how his um what are they called decapitators no punish punishers that's it um so uh yeah so i'm thinking like he's using that like maybe the noise that they make because i'm sure they make some kind of noise as they spin and it's like he's amplifying that to the nth degree to like supersonic levels and you know sound permeates just about anything <laughs> so it's like I guess that's what he's aiming for Kaido actually feels like he felt that because he's going argh oh you're a real pirate aren't you there Kaido oh boy uh, let's see here kid looks over and Indra was that Kaido? Or Big Mom, because we see Big Mom here, and she's yelling, but... 
but I don't remember Indra, but Indra's actually I think we've seen Indra in freaking Valkyries. So uh, let's see here. So Kid looks or not Kid Killer seems to be uh, out of it, and Kid's yelling Killer. I'm still wondering how he didn't go fa 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 this whole time. Anyway, ma 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 ha 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 ha. There'll be no escape for anyone under the heavens. Okay, so it was Big Mom Strike. Okay. Well, I mean, Kaido has lightning powers too, but whatever. Okay. These brats are tougher than expected. Oh, he's actually trying to eat Killer. I almost said Kid again, sorry. Mm, excuse me. Hmm. Which actually might have been beneficial, to be honest, because, like, that my idea before, like, you know, because unless you, like, immediately follow up the attack, or, like, eating him with, like, some kind of, like, a borrow breath or something, he'd probably be alright, he'd be able to recover enough, and then just start slashing you up on the inside, it's like, well, I guess my Sonic, uh, what did he call it? Uh, Sonic Slide. Scythe. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Like, if that didn't work, I'll just cut you with the blades themselves, you know. But anyway, so... But before that, uh, we have Rhino Schneider. With Luffy kind of knocking Kaido's head out of the way. Oh, he's coming with a Boro. Uh, Troth. Or Troth? I hate when Luffy calls him weird things. Um, give me a boost. Oh, no, wait, that's not even Luffy saying that. That's Zoro. I didn't look far enough on the panel. Let's see here. You ingrates are testing my patience. I'm not a babysitter, damn it. And he just sort of whoop and pop. And so... I'm guessing you're going to end up right on the top of Kaido's head? Or no? You... How did you end up right in front of Kaido? Like that. You're in between Luffy and Kaido, but like, he's doing the borrow breath. Or blast breath, as it's translated here. And he's doing flim slice. So... Which is good. I mean, he must have saw it coming, obviously, so... Might as well use that attack you stole from Kenimon. Anyway, Zoro! One sword style. Oh, he's he getting a follow-up. What? Kaido dodge! That's not your average sword. Flying dragon? Blaze! Blaze? Flying dragon blaze? Um... That's a new move, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's not a thing. So that must be an Enma exclusive. Um, and it cut off one of Onigashima's horns. I, I'm surprised Oda didn't draw it reacting to that. Because he does like to do that. But yeah, so... But did it do any damage to Kaido is the thing. Why is Odin's aura emanating from his sword? Because it's his sword, you dummy. You would think you would have recognized it by now. You really underestimated him. Big Mom, you underestimated Luffy and his whole damn crew while they were fucking up <laughs> everything you was doing. So it's like, d don't even try that. Wheeze, wheeze, damn it. I missed. Hey, it was still pretty cool, Zoro. Oh, well, he got zapped. I'm guessing another Indra. Um, Zoro! Ma, 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 ha, ha, ha. You're all sitting ducks now. There's no way out. Heavenly... Dim... Yeah. Well, I can't even say the word. Dominion. There we go. Shiva's Wrath... Another Valkyrie deal. Like, what is up with all of her attacks being based on the freaking Hindu pantheon all of a sudden? Because 
the damn homie who's doing them is named after a Greek god. It's Valkyrie all over again. Um, but yeah, okay. So, the lightning's just kind of going all over the place. So this is Shiva's Wrath. Um, and then, uh, wait, what? Oh, there's like a, like the literal translation of what it was. Originally it was Malsharva. I'm not good with Hindu, guys. Anybody that reads the Valkyrie reactions, you, you, reads them? Why would you read the reaction? But whatever, you know what I mean. Um, and then Shiva in the Buddhist pantheon. He's like the head of the pantheon. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Based on the way that, you know, uh, Valkyrie likes to tell it. And there's Luffy. He's getting hit, but really it shouldn't affect him. Knock him about a little bit, but, you know. Let's see. Damn it, it's like a natural disaster. Uh, Kid is probably in the worst position when it comes to all this lightning. His ass would be grass if he got hit. So, uh, uh, oh, is that frickin' Prometheus? What? Hehe. <laughs> I can't really tell. Is that fire or lightning? Because then that would mean that's Zeus, but... It... I don't... So is he controlling the individual lightning bolts and bringing them to life? Huh. I don't know. And there's a law kind of going ick. <laughs> Urk. Arg. And then up in the sky, Luffy, the one who's resistant to all of this, and they're like, huh? You mean they don't. They know he has rubber powers, right? He's literally made of the shit. And it's like, I'm, I'm confused. How stupid are they? Straw Hat, why aren't you fried by my lightning? I'm made of rubber. And then insert bitch. Um, and she's just like, I spent all my life about food, not about science. That was Senku's job. Um, you're going to pay for going after Zoro and the others. Oh, I like that he's getting revenge for his allies too. Um, blast breath. Well, that might actually hurt him. But, well, no, he, he actually, uh, is burst his way through it how what fire isn't effective either is, is this a trick nope guts okay gomu gomu no and oh is that is he doing what is he doing his arm is really stretched out it looks more like um a culvert but it Oh, he's finally doing King Kong Gat- or just Kong Gatling. I mean, King Kong Gatling could come later. I have a real pain in my neck, good lord. Um, but, but yeah, like, finally, a big finisher move. I doubt this fight is over, obviously, but we're finally getting- so that's like at least, what, two new moves that Luffy's gotten. Zoro got one- and then, uh, we got one, we got one from everybody except for, like, obviously, like, Kaido, he didn't do anything, and, um, Law didn't do anything, you know, abnormal or new. But, uh, yeah, so, Kong Gatling just beating up Kaido, love to see it. He's really going, ooh, 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 ooh. But, uh, putting everything behind his fists. And there is no break next week, which I would, had hoped so, considering we just came back from one. Uh, but yeah. Okay. Overall, this chapter was satisfying. Um, sorry, my enthusiasm isn't through the roof like normal, but you know why. I just thought you guys deserved this as timely as I could give it so yeah but um so yeah the the action was solid the 
the addition of new moves was cool. I mean, Big Mom got like two new ones. She got Indra, which is more of just like a straight lightning bolt. One of uh, Shiva's like compatriots in the in the pantheon. So I at least knew who it was. <laughs> um, then Shiva's wrath is being more of just like a more violent lightning storm. Still cool. Still don't know why Zeus himself is doing all of this. His name is Zeus. But whatever. I figured, you know, like, name all of his attacks, like, after other, like, lightning gods or, you know, storm gods or something, you know. Give us a Thor or give us a, you know, um, what's the other one I know? Shit. Uh, Susan, you know, God of Lightning, God of Storms, would have worked fine, but no, we we went to India. Um, I, there has to be a reason for that. I don't know, but uh, maybe it's to do with the fact that like her homies are kind of like reincarnations, and that's a big thing in like Buddhism, so. Um, are Buddhism, no, Hinduism. So, yeah, I'm getting them mixed up because they mentioned the Buddhism for some reason. Are they both? No, it's Hinduism. Now I'm just getting confused. Sorry, guys. I'm not a big, like, religion buff. <laughs> if there isn't a f fun, like, mythology that I can, like, wrap my head around, it just, in one ear out the other you know so but yeah but yeah so that was big mom and then you know kaido he did what he always does so nothing big there um zoro you know protected his captain using the like the fire slice or flame slice and then you know he comes out with the um Flying, flying slash, I'm, uh, my brain just doesn't want to work now. Well, I guess when does it ever want to work, am I right? Let's see here, where is it? Yeah, one sword store, yeah, flying dragon, blaze. And it was like, it's like just a pretty good attack. And Kaido recognized the fact that like, it's like, why is Odin Zora with that sword? still surprised that he hadn't realized it yet but whatever you know i guess they've been in pretty pitch combat it's kind of hard to look at a sword when you're being struck with it i guess i don't know um law i'm still surprised he's a doctor you would think he would go after the wound that's obviously there when he used his gamma knife that's like been his one of his big moves this in this fight you would think he would have aimed for the obvious weak spot. You know? Like a doctor, maybe. Uh, maybe as a doctor he was like, no. I will make a new wound. I will not attack an old one. That goes against the Hippocratic Oath. Hippocratic Oath. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let me know your thoughts on that one. Um, the... Gibson slam kind of eh. <clears throat> like I said, like the the concept of what like Kid has with his punk rotten is cool, but given that it, he's mostly just controlling a giant robot and doing things like it's cool on its own, sure, but it's not as cool as some of the other moves, I guess, because you know, they're using, like, different concepts. He's just basically as if he was a normal person doing, you know, martial arts moves and all other stuff. So, yeah. Or in this case, it'd be more of a wrestling move. And then, uh, let's see here. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Kong Gatling. Great addition to Luffy's repertoire. Along with, um... Wait, what was... Oh, yeah, the um, Kong Rifle as well. 
So that's two new moves for him. He might have done right, the rifle variant, but I feel like he hadn't. Yet again, memory. It's never what I want it to be. But yeah, so two new moves for Luffy. Obviously, he's using real woe hockey, presumably when he does these attacks, because otherwise Kaido would not be feeling them. Um, so yeah, I'm sure there's something. Oh, killer. Uh, he did that sonic slice, or scythe. I always want to say slice. <clears throat> uh, scythe, which apparently is like a supersonic attack, I guess, using like the rotation of his blades and everything to like create like a sonic wave when he's slicing. And then the blade's rotation is like sending those wavelengths out, maybe. And it like creates that weird effect where it looks like his blades are extending very large but that's just more so you know that he's doing it more than anything I'm sure was Oda's thought process but still pretty cool um it, it did the job it incapacitated Kaido for a bit so that that's more than what Zoro had done up to that point so I'm sure a lot of people are giving Killer a little bit more uh, points on that Especially given that Zoro, his new move, missed. So, yeah. Killer is the is the vice captain that actually did something today. And, uh, yeah. It was fairly straightforward combat chapter. I'm sure there might be some little thing I'm missing. So, obviously, let me know your own thoughts and opinions. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, let me know anything I missed, misunderstood, obviously. All that good stuff. Um, check out my other content as always. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Links down below for all of my social media so you can keep up with my other content and see um, have ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming. I'll tweet out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And uh, yeah, as always, I already said it, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm messing up my outro. Sorry, guys. Um, but, uh, yeah. And until next time. Uh, I don't ever know how to end these videos. <laughs>